Here are a few basics to get you started with Zara. All the document options are under this menu. Use Open to open a new document or one you were working on earlier. Or you can have multiple documents open in different tabs. When you select Open, it takes you to the Document Picker. This has three sections. Here you can access your Cloud Drive to open and save files to Google Drive, Dropbox or OneDrive. The second section is where you'd open a new document from a template. Choose from any category here. The lower section shows you recent documents that you've been working on. Just tap to open one. I'll close the document picker to return to the main editor. The document menu is also where you save or download a PDF. These are the undo and redo. The status line here tells you useful information about what's selected. These four controls do everything else. The plus sign is where you add things to the page, such as images, text, photo grids, arrows, shapes, etc. I'll pick a rounded rectangle, which is now added to the page. When you select anything on the page, the Properties panel is displayed. It changes depending on the selection. So if I place the text cursor, here are all the normal text controls. I can hide the Properties panel so I have a clean, uncluttered work area. The second control will show and hide the property panel. The third control is where you share documents. This will create a link to a read-only version. Use this to share editing with others. The last control is Settings, where you have a few zoom options and sign out. And the user interface is the same on all devices, even touchscreens, tablets or Chromebooks. That's it, a very simple set of controls that drives a very powerful document editor.